This is Fat Cat. What do I want to talk about today? Man, let me tell you. Um, I'll be honest with you. I've been a little bit depressed lately. No, not like last week. So that's why I'm here making a video today. I was depressed in, uh, a little bit after that uh, age gap video. Um, and then I made another video about controlling versus control or control versus controlling, whatever. Okay, so I was a little depressed after a while. I got over it. Um, I got my closure and everything was good on age gap video and that relationship and that scenario. And then um, I was still a little depressed because I put myself out there. All right, I'm going to get into this right now. I put myself out there as a single man. And not really as a daddy dom. I didn't put myself out there as anything but just a single good man looking for somebody. Now, yes, I do need somebody that is kind in the lifestyle, but not really, as long as she's, you know, open minded and not judgmental and at least somewhat submissive. I don't mind. I prefer an independent girl, but the independent mean financially independent, then yes. Man, all I have been getting is ghosts and flakes. That's pretty much it. Um, I do know that when I start talking about BDSM, the people, females, really. When I start talking about BDSM, the females, they run. So it's not like I do it the first time. You know, I don't get online and be like, oh, hey, uh, fucking blah, 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 blah. And then finally, yeah, phone number, cool. It's been fucking two, three weeks because people are scared. Yeah, I told you I was a really cool guy. Yeah, I will tell you something that you don't know. I'm in a BDSM. Hello? It's pretty much what all I've been getting. It's been shit trying to date. Last year, I had no problems. I had so many chicks, I didn't even know what the fuck to do. But this year, whoa, nothing. The only thing has changed is BDSM. I mean, I'm more into it than I was last year. I mean, because I started going to community in the last year and all that. But this time last year, I'd have no problems. Nothing's changed about me. I, I don't know what it is. Am I, am I being too dominant? Am I being too uh, suave or something? Like, what is it? I don't know. And all I've been getting is ghosts and flakes. There was this one girl. There was a couple, actually. There was this one that I started seeing. So after Age Gap, there was, there was one girl I was starting to really like that we kind of talked last year. I don't know. We was doing good. Everything was good. We even reconnected, we went out on dates, we was good, and then like we almost went there and, and was sexual, but you know, we've been hanging around for a few weeks. One day I just brought her and I was like, I had a talk with her. I was like, look, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask her questions, like, what are you here for? Like I'm catching feelings, like what do you want with me? Because all I've been getting is flakes and fucking ghosts. I'm just scared because I'm starting to catch feelings and I can't hold them back anymore. And I started asking her about her past, her past like with her ex relationship and stuff. And she's like, I don't want to talk about it. It's a hard limit. And I brought it up again in a different way and she walked on me, blocked me. What happened? I was just trying to like understand you a little bit better. I haven't talked to her since. That took me a while to get over. You know, I, I met another girl I really liked. It was so on the whim. It was like, I just met her never really talked to her like I met a girl and it wasn't even off the internet sort of I mean it was on snapchat and she was like hey she was like hit me up I'm bored well, what's up I'm house watching you want to come hang out shit I was thinking about taking a nap but yeah cool I wasn't seeing her and immediately I, I caught a connection with her. I felt something with this one. And it wasn't even trying. It was just I was hanging out with somebody. It wasn't even about anything besides hanging out. I had no intentions to catch feelings, to do anything sexual, none of that. 
And then all of a sudden it turned into that. Like I caught feelings and we did end up having something special and I started to freak out. Cause I'm like, wait, how old are you? Shit, I just went through an age gap issue. I started freaking out, I panicked. Cause I didn't know she was younger than I thought. And I don't know, she ghosted me. Ghosted, left me on red. I was sitting there telling her my feelings, saying, look, I'm sorry, I apologize, I freaked out. Like, give me that, because I just went through something. It was the first girl I had started having feelings for again. Well, technically the second. You know how many people I talk to? How many dates I've been on? And it's just been shit. Like, just shit. I almost wanted to say, if there's anybody out there that thinks they want to be with me, let me know. But, again... I don't do long days. I don't do long distance relationships, so that's going to be a problem. I just want to meet somebody local, you know, so I can be with and spoil them. Fuck, I miss spoiling somebody. Like, just I miss it. But hey, whatever. So the last girl I caught feelings for, she just fucking ghosted me. That was it. It kind of hurt, to be honest, because there's no explanation why. If she would have said, "Hey, you was freaking out," I could have been like, "Hey." It's cool. I'm sorry. I was freaking out. I'm going to let that shit go. As long as you're for me, I'm going to be for you. But nothing happened. Ghost. Left me on red. Every time I send a message every fucking day, red but no response. No response. Same shit over and over. Yeah, it kind of fucking hurt. But if I didn't catch feelings, if it was just like I was just a normal dude that was just trying to hit it and quit it, Sure, it had been nothing. It had been cool. I wouldn't have cared. But it didn't turn out that way. It turned out to the fact that I was having feelings for somebody. And they just ghosted me. Yeah, I kind of heard about it. I feel like I got used. Like, I feel like I'm a chick, you know? I hear, I hear about that stuff all the time. Girls getting used by guys. That's how I feel. I feel like I was a girl in that situation. It's crazy. So, I want to start making videos again. I was just letting you guys know where I've been. Honestly, too fucking worried about putting myself out there. That's all I've been doing, putting myself out there. Too, too wrapped up in, in finding somebody. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna chill out. A friend of mine, I'll say, I'll say, Vicky. A friend of mine, I, I talk to, because I don't got very many females I can just talk to about what's going on, you know. So. I mean, I put myself out there so hardcore. I'm, I'm on like I don't even know how many dating sites anymore. I, don't, I, don't, I don't even care anymore. I just fucking give up. Like it's just ridiculous. And by the way, I did try dating girls my age, and guess what? It was the same shit, ghosts, flakes. But the problem with them is they've been there and done that shit. They've been married multiple times. Their kids are grown up. Like. And, and, they, and they still have to drink wine and get high every day. And, and they don't, they, they're too worried about me controlling their shitty life that they don't want to fuck with me. I'm not trying to control you. Like, what? So, I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm not really depressed. I, I try to snap the fuck out of it. And this is, I'm here. I snapped out of it. And uh, I'm right here. So, I'm all good. I'm, I'm a little, uh, I'm a little on the edge, a little bit, but it's okay. Um, I talk to so many people; they come and go so fast. Like, it's like you know, and I'm just gonna be done putting my efforts into to people that don't want to put it back. So, um, I'm not gonna let it get to me. I promise. And I have so many topics I want to talk about. Um, Maybe I'll try to do one after this video. Maybe, see what happens. Maybe I could pull a topic off, a little short topic. If you see me in the same shirt, same hat, then you'll know what happened, right? I got to do it. Um, yeah, let's see. So this was my little update. It's been a month or so, I don't know. I really wish I could put a video out every week. I really wish I could. If I did, I would already be I, w I would be up there in numbers, trust me, and subs and everything else, but I am an emotional ass dude, and when I'm depressed, I don't feel like riding my motorcycle, I don't feel like being on video, 
I like, I want to, I wish, I'm like, man, I need to make a video, I need to make, and I just don't do it. Yeah, my head's wrapped in the clouds looking for an angel, and I'm not down here with you. So, here we go. Um, thanks for watching, and let's hopefully I can make a video. Let's try it. Hey, did you like that video? We'll try these videos out. If, have you seen this video yet? You have? Try that video. Oh, you've already seen that video? I don't know. Replay this video. It's awesome. No, for real. Watch one of these other videos. Seriously. The videos. <laughs>